Hello, I'm Father Edward Looney. It's noon central. I invite you to stand and we'll begin by praying the Angelus. The angel of the Lord declared to Mary, and she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Well, thank you for joining us for the celebration of the Holy Mass today from the Chapel of the Nativity, located at the offices of Relevant Radio in Green Bay, Wisconsin. Again, I'm Father Edward Looney, and delighted to celebrate Mass with all of you who are listening today through the radio or watching through the Relevant Radio app, or online at relevantradio.com. The disciples devoted themselves with one accord to prayer, with Mary the mother of Jesus. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. On this Saturday, we honor the Blessed Virgin Mary in the venerable tradition of our church. And so now let us call to mind our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, Father of mercies, whose only begotten Son, as he hung upon the cross, chose the Blessed Virgin Mary, his mother, to be our mother also. Grant, we pray, that with her loving help, your church may be more fruitful day by day, and exalting in the holiness of her children, may draw her to embrace all the families of the peoples. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first book of Samuel. There was a stalwart man from Benjamin named Kish, who was the son of Abiel, son of Zeror, son of Bekorath, son of Epiah, a Benjamite. He had a son named Saul, who was a handsome young man. There was no other child of Israel more handsome than Saul. He stood head and shoulders above the people. Now the asses of Saul's father Kish had wandered off. Kish said to his son Saul, Take one of the servants with you and go out and hunt for the asses. Accordingly, they went through the hill country of Ephraim and through the land of Shalashaha. Not finding them there, they continued through the land of Shalem without success. They also went through the land of Benjamin, but they failed to find the animals. When Samuel caught sight of Saul, the Lord assured him, This is the man of whom I told you. He is to govern my people. Saul met Samuel in the gateway and said, Please tell me where the seer lives. Samuel answered Saul, I am the seer. 
Go up ahead of me to the high place and eat with me today. In the morning, before dismissing you, I will tell you whatever you wish. Then from a flask he had given then from a flask he had with him, Samuel poured oil on Saul's head. He also kissed him, saying, The Lord anoints you commander over his heritage. You are to govern the Lord's people. You are to govern the Lord's people, Israel, and to save them from the grasp of their enemies round about. This will be the sign for you that the Lord has anointed you commander over his heritage. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, in your strength, the king is glad. Lord, in your strength, the king is glad. O Lord, in your strength the king is glad, in your victory how greatly he rejoices. You have granted him his heart's desire, you refuse not the wish of his lips. Lord, in your strength the king is glad, for you welcomed him with godly blessings. You placed on his head a crown of pure gold. He asked life of you, you gave him length of days forever and ever. Lord, in your strength the king is glad. Great is his glory in your victory, majesty and splendor you conferred upon him, for you made him a blessing forever, you gladden him with the joy of your face. Lord, in your strength the king is glad. Cleanse my heart and my lips, almighty God, and I may worthily proclaim your holy gospel. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord sent me to bring glad tidings to the poor and to proclaim liberty to captives. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus went along the sea. All the crowd came to him, and he taught them. As he passed by, he saw Levi, son of Elphias, sitting at the customs post. Jesus said to him, Follow me. And he got up and followed him. While he was at table in his house, many tax collectors and sinners sat with Jesus and his disciples. For there were many who followed him. Some scribes who were Pharisees saw that Jesus was eating with sinners and tax collectors and said to his disciples, Why does he eat with tax collectors and sinners? Jesus heard this and said to them, Those who are well do not need a physician, but the sick do. I did not come to call the righteous, but sinners. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. For the words of the gospel, may our sins be wiped away. Well, I think there's a theme in our readings today that we can draw out, and that theme is the call that one has received. We hear about Samuel today who anoints Saul, and so we can just go back to Wednesday, to the readings for Wednesday this past week, and the call of Samuel that he thought he was hearing a voice in the night, And so he went and he talked to the priest Eli, and that priest told him, no, no, I did not call you. But then after a little period of time, Eli realized, well, it was the Lord that is calling you, Samuel. And so Samuel is called. We heard the origin story of Samuel this past week at Mass as well, how his mother Hannah was barren without child and prayed to God, asking God to bless her with a child. And she dedicated from the womb the child she was to bear and to give birth to. And so Samuel, his initial call comes from the Lord because he is a gift from God himself to the family and to those around him now. And in this ministry that he exercises, we hear Samuel, we hear that Saul asked Samuel, please tell me where the seer lives. And Samuel says, I am the seer. That God has endowed him with certain gifts. He has equipped him for the call that he has received and now responds to in his life. 
Well, then we have Saul, this other character in our first reading today. And Saul receives this call as well. And so Samuel plays a role in the calling of Saul because we see that Saul is anointed. And so he is anointed a king over the people of Israel. This calling from God, Saul now is initiated. He is anointed and begins to live this office to which God has called him. We heard in our Alleluia verse today, the Lord sent me to bring glad tidings to the poor and to proclaim liberty to captives. A line from the sacred scriptures from the prophet Isaiah that Jesus goes into that synagogue one day, he opens up the scroll and he reads it and says, today this passage is fulfilled in your hearing. That Jesus, sent by the Father to the earth, has a mission that he is here for a mission to bring glad tidings to the poor, to proclaim liberty to captives, but also the mission to teach about the kingdom of heaven, to heal the sick, but ultimately to die on the cross for the resurrect and to rise from the dead. Jesus' call and mission is to bring us all to eternal life and to prepare us for the kingdom. Our gospel, another call. Jesus Passing by, sees Levi, the son of Alphaeus, and tells him to follow him. And so Alphaeus gets, or so, so Levi gets up from the tax cu- customs post and follows Jesus, actually invites Jesus into his home. While he was at table in his house, many tax collectors and sinners sat with Jesus. So not only does he follow Jesus, but he invites Jesus into his home, prepares this meal. And then people become disgruntled. They see Jesus with these other people. But even for them, as Jesus is with the tax collectors and sinners, well, he's calling them. And they have their own calling in response to the Lord. That Jesus calls the sinner to go and to sin no more. That he tells the crippled to pick up his mat and walk. And so everybody has this origin story in terms of their relationship with God. And of course, today, as we honor the Blessed Virgin Mary, she also has her own story as well. A story that began with Jochum and Anne praying for a child, having that child delivered to them, just like Hannah. And then that child becoming and chosen by God to be the mother of the Savior, giving birth and following that call that God had given. As we hear the beginnings of these calls of the people in our scriptures that we've heard this week and that we've heard today, it's a reminder to us that God calls each and every one of us. He has called us from baptism from that very day, and he continues to issue that call throughout our entire life. He wants us to come and to follow him. He wants us to spread the good news. He wants us to share him with so many people in our lives. And so like Samuel, like Saul, like Jesus and Levi and Mary who said yes, may we also say yes to the will of God in our life today. Let us now pray together as a community of believers asking the Lord to hear our prayer. For Pope Francis and his intentions, and for increase in vocations to the priests and the consecrated life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace in the world and for an end to all terrorism and violence, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our nation and for all of our government leaders, that they will protect and defend the fundamental rights to life and religious freedom for all, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For strong marriages and family life, that couples will embrace their vocation by growing in love for each other and raising their children to be disciples in the faith. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the souls of those who have died, especially our loved ones and our family members, for the holy souls in purgatory, for the souls who are most in need of our prayers this day. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for our St. Joseph, St. Gabriel, St. Nicholas, and Guardian Angel Society members, and for all of our listeners and supporters, that Our Lady of Guadalupe will intercede for them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. 
O Lord our God, we ask you to hear the prayers that we offer because we come to you with great confidence and faith and trust and hope in you. And we ask your mother, Mary, to join us in our prayers now so that they might be pleasing before you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. And may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, from my iniquity. Cleanse me from my sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive our offerings, O Lord, and transform them into the mystery of salvation, so that by its power we may be set aflame with the charity of the Virgin Mary, the mother of the church, and with her may be united more closely to the work of redemption. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to proclaim your greatness with due praise as we honor the Blessed Virgin Mary. Receiving your word in her immaculate heart, she was found worthy to conceive him in her virgin's womb. And giving birth to the Creator, she nurtured the beginnings of the Church. Standing beside the cross, she received the testament of divine love and took to herself as sons and daughters all those who by the death of Christ are born to heavenly life. As the apostles awaited the Spirit you had promised, she joined her supplication to the prayers of the disciples and so became the pattern of the Church at prayer. Raised to the glory of heaven, she accompanies your pilgrim church with a mother's love and watches in kindness over the church's homeward steps until the Lord's day shall come in glorious splendor. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and you make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously to make holy these gifts that we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension to heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and this living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints, in whose constant intercession, in your presence, we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant Francis, our Pope, and David, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people that you have gained for your own, listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. So at the Savior's command, informed by his divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. May the receiving of your body and blood, Lord Jesus Christ, not bring me to judgment and condemnation, but through your loving mercy be for me. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. A wedding was held in Cana of Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there. Then Jesus performed the first of his signs and manifested his glory, and his disciples believed in him. The body of Christ.
For those of you watching or listening, this would be a good time to make a spiritual communion. I wish my Lord to receive you with the purity, humility, and devotion with which your Most Holy Mother received you, with the spirit and the fervor of the saints. Let us pray. Humbly received the pledge of redemption and of life, we humbly pray, O Lord, that with the Blessed Virgin's motherly help, your church may teach all nations by proclaiming the gospel, and through the grace of the outpouring of the Spirit, fill the whole earth. Through Christ, our Lord. Amen. Well, thank you for joining us for the celebration of the Mass today here at Relevant Radio. I hope that you'll join us again tomorrow at the same time, noon central for the Mass. And be sure to join Father Rocky tonight on the Family Rosary Across America at 7 p.m. Central. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, o Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. O Lady of good health, our merciful Father chose you to be the powerful intercessor in times of trouble and in woe. As in past centuries, when you have interceded to end contagious diseases, we implore you now to end the coronavirus, which is damaging the health of many and spreading fear in our communities. Teach us not to be afraid, to be courageous and generous in offering assistance to others, to live joyfully in the state of grace. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. I invite you to pray a memorari with me for an end to abortion. Remember, O oh most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection implored thy help, or sought thy intercession, was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly unto thee, O Virgin of virgins, my mother. To thee do we come, before thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petition, but in thy mercy hear and answer me. Amen. And we'll close with Sing of Mary, number 748. Sing of Mary, pure and lowly, Virgin Mother undefiled. Sing of God's own Son, most holy, Who became her little child. Fairest child of fairest mother, God the Lord who came to earth, Word made flesh, our very brother, Takes our nature by his birth. Sing of Jesus, Son of Mary, In the home at Nazareth. Toil and labor cannot weary, love enduring unto death. Constant was the love he gave her, though he went forth from her side. Forth to preach and heal and suffer, Till on Calvary he died. <laughs>